Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. In this video we're going to make keys to a tour. One cylinder, just a nasty Chinese type cylinder, nothing special. So um, we've got no keys, we're going to make a key, we're going to keep the same combination. So using a small flat blade I'm just going to push this circlip off here and then just dig it out, take it off. That's my tail piece there. Now I don't actually have a key so we're going to be using a, um, what's called shim and I do have a piece floating around my messy bench here it is here so I'm just going to put that between the cylinder and the plug and grab myself key blank push it all the way at the back and slowly work my way forward capturing the shear line between the pin and the top driver pin now there is a fine art to doing this you don't want to wreck your shim you don't want it to get caught between the spring and the uh, and the pin. So now I've got it in there, I've, I've collected all five of them and I've got my plug turn. I'm going to use myself a follower. It's pushing it from the back. Now it's very critical at this stage that we don't drop these pins and do you want to see how nasty this cylinder is? Look at all the meat that's missing. So that's because they're saving money or recycling or something. I'm going to use a cylinder cradle here because I don't want anything to fall over. So I could um, pre-mark my keys, but um, I don't, I've just got myself a blank key. So I'm just going to pop, pop that in, see if the profile's right, and the profile is right, the key does go in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, score my key so that I can find my spacing. So I'm just going to mark, just put a texture on it, there's my blade right there. I'm going to use my shoulder point, put it up the top of the plug and just quickly mark my centers of each chamber. You see those marks there? So that will give me roughly my um, an idea on my center. I'm putting it back in. So just reading those pins there, I can tell that the first one's probably a two, next one's probably a six, seven, six, and then a four. So I'm just gonna take out a little bit of that meat real quick. So now I've got my thing, I can just take it down a cut. I've just put five cuts in there roughly. They're gonna to need to be smoothed and fixed up just to see roughly where my pins are now. And I can see the first one is perfect. The rest of the four still need work. You can also check my spacing here to see how accurate my space line up to the hole. So they're quite okay. So I'm not happy with the, I'm happy with the first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth. So basically everything after the first one has to come down. So now I'm just going to use an impressioning file and I'm going to uh, work on this second cut here. Third cut. The reason I'm using the impressioning file is because it gives more of a ramp. The clippers give a very tight ramp and sometimes that's not very good. her key now. We will have to fix up some of the ramps but we're getting closer. So this is called an impressioning file. Okay so we're getting closer again. We've only got uh, couple more depths to do. Normally I'd be using a vice to lean up against but if I do that you can't see it. Okay just checking none of our, our uh, lead edges are going to trap this key. And this one here looks like it will, so 
and fix that. This one here is no good. Okay, let's check it now. Okay, so we're getting very close. They all need to go down about one cut. Let's see if I clipped right. Okay, so the only just passable on the last one. Second down, sorry, first is okay. Second, third and fourth need to go down just a little bit. Second, third, and fourth. Second, third. Fourth. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, still third and fourth, just a, a smidgen. That's fourth. Third. And fix up that angle again. So yeah, the key uh, could be shaped a lot nicer. And I can't get it in, which means one of my ramps is not good enough. So I'm just going to need to clean that up. If you can't get it out, it means one of your backwards ramps are not good enough. Okay, so there we have it. So they're all in there. It was tried in the cylinder. Also when sliding back, make sure you don't slide it in uh, with those ripples on the side, otherwise it'll get jammed. Okay, and there we go. One of the pins is a little bit lower and a little bit deep on the fifth one, but that it, that is a working key, all the same. Our ramps are a little bit tight still, so let's just fix them up. And, and make sure they're good going out as well. working okay how to make a key by hand using a file for just a 201 cylinder thanks for watching